Hello, this is Mike Kaufman, the author of the Motor Oil Bible, and I'd like to thank you for watching part 7 of my video series, The Top 4 Reasons Not to Use Synthetic Oil. And uh, just real quickly, before we start into the, uh, the, the actual message here, uh, I need to cover the necessary disclaimer. Uh, unfortunately, it is necessary for me to issue this disclaimer and in indicating that uh, the information I'm providing to you in this video is for entertainment purposes only by watching the remainder of this video and or putting into practice any of its recommendations you are releasing me from any and all liability that may result although I am a professional in the area of lubrication and filtration you are advised to research these issues fully before deciding to implement any of my suggestions and your decision is ultimately your own and releases me of all liability now this is part seven of a seven part series so clearly that means this is the last edition. Uh, if you haven't seen parts one through six yet uh, simply click on the little triangle to the right of this video or if you're not already there visit the website address at motoroilbible.com so you can watch the other six videos. Um, in this particular uh, portion of the series, I want to discuss your personal comfort level. Now, uh, again, this discussion has revolved around the, the main reasons why you might not be a good candidate for using synthetic oil. And this really is the last area that I want to discuss. And it's a little bit less technical than the others. Um, you know, we've, we've discussed numerous reasons that, that synthetic oil may not be a good choice for you. But, um, but this one, I just kind of want to talk about your personal comfort level. And uh, you might ask, what in the world are you talking about? And the truth is, what I mean by that is, how comfortable are you with taking full advantage of the benefits of moving to synthetic oil? How sure are you that those benefits actually exist and they're not just being made up by synthetic oil dealers and, and, and manufacturing companies? Um, you know, honestly, it does matter um, because if you simply don't believe in the viability of extended drains, then that is one significant benefit that you won't fully be receiving from your upgrade to synthetic oil. Even if you actually extend your drains, um, if you're not comfortable with it, then you'll spend all your time being anxious, being concerned that you're doing damage to your engine or that you know, you're causing yourself problems. And uh, even though the Motor Oil Bible really does give a very good explanation of you know, what the differences are between synthetics and petroleum oils, why they last longer, you know, how is it possible, and of course many, many, many other issues related to motor oil and filtration, but you know, that doesn't mean that you're going to believe it. Uh, it doesn't mean that, that you're fully going to take a hold of that information and say, you know what, I buy into that. That makes sense. Um, and, you know, if you don't, then you're really not gaining the benefits of, uh, of moving to synthetic oil, at least not in full. Um, you know, is synthetic really better? Maybe you're not entirely convinced, in which case, you know, every time you purchase a case of synthetic oil, you're going to be wondering, am I wasting my money? Is this really worth um, the, the extra expense? And, you know, if that's you, don't do it. It's really not worth it. You'll constantly be second guessing yourself and the oil that you've chosen to protect your expensive vehicles and equipment. And, uh, you know, that's really not a good place to be. Petroleum oil will work. Despite the evidence proving that synthetic oils are better, that doesn't mean the petroleum oils aren't going to do the job. They will. And if it makes you feel more comfortable, then go for it. There's really nothing to prevent you from using petroleum oil as long as you change it frequently enough and you keep it well filtered. It's going to do the job. Does it do it as well as synthetic? No, but that doesn't mean that it's not a good choice. For some people, it's a perfectly good choice. Um, so, you know, I hope that this video series has been helpful to you. If you haven't watched the other six parts of this series, I highly encourage you to do so uh, because there's a little bit more meat in, in those portions of this video series than there is here in this last portion. Um, a little bit more detail and some more technical information regarding synthetic oil and how it relates to different applications. But 
You know, I hope that maybe you've learned some things that you didn't already know if you have gone through this series. I hope maybe some questions have been raised that maybe you hadn't considered. Uh, you know, in the end, basically, I just I hope that I've helped you in some way and that you haven't wasted your time watching these videos. Um, and uh, so, you know, I hope that you'll check out the other videos. There are uh, at least two or three other videos that I've included here on the Motor Oil Bible website in the playlist that are not part of this particular series, this Top 4 Reasons series, but uh, should be available to you in that playlist. And they do have some additional information about some other issues related to lubrication and filtration and if you're interested in watching those just click the little triangle at the right of this video or if you happen to be watching this on YouTube or some other video site then go ahead and head to motoroilbible.com the address that shows at the bottom of this uh, video and uh, you can check out all of the other videos that I've put up the the video lectures regarding uh, motor oil and filtration issues so um, you know I I hope that uh, you become better educated uh, about motor oil and filtration, whether through my site and my videos and, and the Motor Oil Bible book uh, or through other websites, although you know, be careful what you read. Everything out there isn't necessarily rock-solid truth. Um, a lot of it is just opinion, but, but there is some good information out there. And so you know, the more you know about lubes and filters, and the, you know, the, the better you're going to be able to protect your vehicles. So you know, watch the videos, get a copy of my book, maybe even get a free copy. I'm going to be giving away a thousand uh, free copies of the Motor Oil Bible. And if you've gotten to my website soon enough, you, know, you may have an opportunity to get your hands on one of those thousand free copies. So, uh, you know, follow me and, uh, and stay up to date on where we are in the launch sequence. And uh, when it comes time for that giveaway, you'll receive a notification. You know, follow me by, uh, you know, Twitter or Facebook, MySpace, RSS, um, you know, any of, you know, the the methods available on the Motor Oil Bible website for uh, following me will make sure that you receive updates regarding blog postings, um, the giveaway offer for the thousand free copies of my book, the monthly blog giveaways that I'm going to be running. Um, just use any method that you find on this page to follow me and, and my updates. Um, in fact, you could even register for the blog right through this page. And uh, by becoming a blog member, not only are you going to receive timely notifications regarding new postings and, and the status of the giveaway, uh, but you'll also be automatically entered in every monthly gadget giveaway drawing. And uh, so every month, I do a drawing and I give away, you know, an automotive tool or gadget or accessory or, you know, software or ebook or something, uh, you know, that will be of use to you. And as a blog member, you will receive an entry in every one of those monthly drawings. And if you're commenting on the site or, you know, uh, interacting in some way, you'll have additional opportunities to to get additional entries in those drawings and increase your chances of winning. So I highly encourage registering for the blog because not only do you receive those updates, but you also are entered into those monthly drawings. Um, tell your friends and relatives about the MotorOilBible.com website, about these videos, about my book uh, that uh, that's being put out because um, Telling your friends about this site could significantly increase your chances of getting a free copy of the book. Uh, because basically, um, well, first of all, if you want to spread the word about this site or about the book, there's a little envelope icon at the uh, bottom of this video to the bottom right. You can click on that to use numerous different social networking methods uh, or email to contact your friends and relatives, or click the spread the word button at the bottom right if you're on this site. Uh, but by doing that, you increase your chances because everybody who, uh, who, who gets an opportunity to, to get one of those thousand free copies, if they get one, they will have my permission to give one copy of that book to anybody they like. And if you send them to the site, chances are they may choose you to give it to. So if you miss out on a copy and they get one, you may still get a copy. So, uh, you know, thanks for spreading the word about this site and about my book. And I hope you get a free copy. Take care.